Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. On April 24th aboard the International Space Station, NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson set a new record for cumulative time spent in space by a U.S. astronaut. 534 days and counting. President Donald Trump marked the milestone with a call from the Oval Office with first daughter Ivanka Trump and NASA astronaut Kate Rubens to the station, where Whitson was joined by NASA's Jack Fisher. That's an incredible record to break. And on behalf of our nation and, frankly, on behalf of the world, I'd like to congratulate you. It's an honor for me, back basically, to be representing all the folks at NASA uh, who make this space flight possible and who make me setting this record feasible. Whitson, who in 2008 became the first woman to command the space station, also holds the record for most spacewalks by a female astronaut. NASA worked with the Department of Education on behalf of the White House to make the president's call to the station available to schools across America. Whitson encouraged students to think about how the steps they take in the classroom today could someday help NASA make the next giant leap in space exploration. Real steps are going to be taken in a few years, and so by studying math, science, engineering, any kind of technology, you're going to have a part in that, and that'll be very exciting. On April 26th, Whitson and Fisher were also involved in another space flight first, the first live ultra-high definition or 4K downlink from space. During the event, which was streamed via Amazon Web Services to the 2017 National Association of Broadcasters Conference in Las Vegas, Whitson spoke with Sam Blackman, chief executive officer and co-founder of AWS Elemental. The conversation was part of a panel discussion about how advancing imaging and cloud technologies are taking scientific research and filmmaking to the next level. The day after participating in the White House congratulatory call to Peggy Whitson on the space station, NASA astronaut Kate Rubens visited the National Institutes of Health in Bethesda, Maryland for a series of events related to her 115-day mission aboard the station last year. Rubens, who became the first person to sequence DNA in space while on board the station, participated in an NIH Twitter chat for DNA Day, and she toured laboratories at the institution. Rubens and her Expedition 4849 crewmates contributed to hundreds of experiments in biology, biotechnology, physical science, and earth science while on the station. They returned to Earth in October 2016. On April 26th, NASA's Cassini spacecraft made its first dive through the narrow gap between Saturn and its rings. This is one of 22 dives Cassini will make through an unexplored region so close to the planet. During the risky maneuvers, the spacecraft is expected to gather unprecedented scientific data that might reveal new details about the planet and its system. Mission controllers were not in touch with Cassini during the dive because the spacecraft's dish-shaped antenna was used as a protective shield against planetary debris. But when communication was re-established, the spacecraft returned these images, the first ever from within the space between the planet and its rings. This first dive marks the start of the mission's grand finale. The mission will conclude with a science-rich plunge into Saturn's atmosphere on September 15th. NASA scientists participated in the 2017 Astrobiology Science Conference April 24th through 28th in Mesa, Arizona. NASA held a town hall meeting to solicit feedback from the astrobiology community about a recent report on the potential science value of a lander concept for a mission to Jupiter's icy moon Europa. The conference is a forum to present the latest findings and perspectives on topics ranging from the origins and evolution of life on Earth to the search for habitable environments and life in our solar system and beyond. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov.